Hello, I am Abdul Rahim, a 9 pointer from IIT Bombay. In this video, we will be solving a previous year question from ordinary differential equations. This question is from end semester examination, which was conducted at the end of the course. And here is the question. Consider the IVP dy by dx equal to 2xy square with y of 0 equal to 1. Start with 0 Picard iterate 5 not identically equal to 1. Then the coefficient of x raised to n in the third Picard iterate phi 3x is. You might have noted that this question is somewhat similar to a question that was already asked in the quiz, which we had already discussed in a previous video. There are only slight changes in the question, so that should actually tell you the importance of this topic, the topic of Picard iteration. Okay, so here we are given a first order differential equation, which we have to solve, not really. Using Picard iterate, we have to find the third Picard iterate and then find the coefficient of x raised to 10 in that. Okay, now what is Picard iterate? Picard iterate is an iterative method which helps us to solve any first order differential equation. Need not be linear, any first order differential equation can be solved by using Picard iterate. Okay, now in Picard iterate, we will have the n plus 1 iterate, phi n plus 1 equal to, what is the formula to find the n plus 1 iterate? That is integral x naught to t, f of s comma phi n of s, ds plus y naught. In order to understand these symbols, let me give you the differential equation. The differential equation is of the form dy by dt equal to f of t comma y. So, you will understand what f is. And this is an IV, IVP, right? So we have y of x naught equal to y naught. So I think this would clarify all the terms I have used in that equation. Okay. So we can calculate the n plus 1 iterate from n iterate using this integral. Okay. Now in our question, what is f of x comma y? In place of f of x comma y or f of t comma y, we have 2xy square or 2ty square. And here x naught is 0 and y naught is 1 because it is given that y of 0 is 1. Okay. And it is given that the first zero Picard iterate is the function identically equal to 1 or constant function 1. Now, from the zero Picard iterate, we can actually find the first Picard iterate or phi 1, which is integrating from 0 to t of f of s comma phi n of s. Right? f of s comma phi n of s or phi naught of s. What is phi naught? Phi naught is constant function 1. So we have to substitute f of s comma 1 there. What is f of s comma 1? f of t comma y is 2ty square. So here we will have 2s1 square which is simply 2s. So let me substitute that here integrating from 0 to t 2s plus our constant that is y naught which is 1. Okay. Now what is the integral of 2s? That is simply s square and if we put the limits t and 0 we will have t square minus 0 square or simply t square and the constant outside that is plus 1. So we got phi 1 to be 1 plus t square. Similarly, we can find the phi 2 or second Picard iterate that is integral 0 to t. We have f of again f of s comma here we will have phi 1 of s. And what is phi 1? Phi 1 is actually t square plus 1. Okay. But in terms of s that will be s square plus 1. So we have to substitute f of s comma s square plus 1 there. That is actually 2 into s into s square plus 1 whole square. Right. We have to take the y part and its square so 1 plus s 1 plus s square whole square that will be 1 plus 2 s square plus s raised to 4 which is 2 s plus 4 s raised to 3 plus 2 s raised to 5 this is our f of t comma y that we have to substitute in the equation so let me substitute here 2 s plus 4 s cube plus 2 s raised to 5 t s plus we have the constant one waiting for us Okay, now what is the integral of 2s? That will be s square and putting the limits we will get simply t square. Now the integral of 4s cube that is actually s raised to 4 and putting the limits we will have simply t raised to 4 minus 0 square, 0 raised to 4 which I won't write. Okay, then plus we have 2s raised to 5 then integral would be 2 into s raised to 6 divided by 6 or simply s raised to 6 divided by 3. On putting the limits it will be simply t raised to 6 divided by 3. And we have a plus 1 waiting, which I will put here just for symmetry. Okay. So, I have got my second Picard iterate phi 2 to be 1 plus t square plus t raised to 4 plus t raised to 6 divided by 3. Let me rewrite here for you. 1 plus t square plus t raised to 4 plus t raised to 6 divided by 3. Now, we have to find the third Picard iterate. Not the complete iterate, but we have to find the 
coefficient of x raised to 10 in that. So, first of all, let me just write the expression for that. What will be the expression? Integrating from 0 to t, we will have to substitute f of f of s comma p2 of s. What is p2 of s? That is actually 1 plus s square plus s raised to 4 plus s raised to 6 divided by 3. Now, what is f of xy? f of xy is 2xy square. So, here we will have 2s in place of y, we have 1 plus s square plus s raised to 4 plus s raised to 6 divided by 3 whole square. I will not be calculating this entire polynomial and completely integrating because I just have to find the coefficient of s raised to 10 or x raised to 10. Okay. So, let me substitute that here 2s into 1 plus s square plus s raised to 4 plus s raised to 6 divided by 3 whole square and we had a plus 1. Okay. Now, we will not be evaluating the complete integral that I already told you and we had used that technique itself in our earlier video. We just have to find the coefficient of x raised to 10, right? So, inside the integral, what should be the power? Inside the integral, we should have a term with s raised to 9. Then only on integrating, it will be converted to s raised to 10 divided by 10. Correct? Yeah. So, inside the integral, we have to check what is the coefficient of s raised to 9. Okay, now there is a s waiting outside this bracket. So, inside this bracket, we need the term s raised to 8 only because one s will come from integration and one s will come from the bracket outside. Okay, but there is a constant 2 waiting outside. So, I will take that constant in order to evaluate the entire coefficient of x raised to 10 in the integral. I have to take that 2. Now, I need to calculate the coefficient of s raised to 8 from this bracket. Okay, now it's a function, it's the equation identity of the form a plus b plus c plus d whole square, which will have a square, b square, c square, d square, and 2ab, 2ac, 2ad in that form. Right, now which all terms will give us a s raised to 8 term? 1 square simply 1, a square whole square will be s raised to 4, s raised to 4 whole square, yes, that is actually s raised to 8. So, from the square of s raised to 4, we will have an s raised to 8 and its coefficient will be simply 1 because we just have that term square, c square. Okay, there is no coefficient. So, you have the coefficient to be just 1. Okay, now is there any other way we can get a s raised to 8 coefficient from here? Yes, there is one more way. How? When we have the 2ab, 2ac type of terms, 2 into s square into s raised to 6 divided by 3, that will actually give us a s raised to 8, right? Yes. So, that will have the coefficient, we will have 2 into s square into s raised to 6 divided by 3. So, the coefficient will be that 2 and 1 by 3 together forming 2 by 3. Okay, so we will have 2 by 3 and there is no any other more term in that bracket which will give s raised to 8 as the coefficient. Okay, now we have actually found the coefficient of s raised to 9 in that entire integrand. Okay, considering that bracket separately, we have found the coefficient of s raised to 9 inside that integrand. Now, when I integrate that, it will be converted into s raised to 10. Not only that, s raised to 9 will be converted to s raised to 10 divided by 10. So, a term 1 by 10 as extra will come when we integrate that. So, the coefficient of x raised to 10 will be this 2 into 1 plus 2 by 3 into 1 by 10. Okay. Now, let me simplify this 2 into what is 1 plus 2 by 3? That is simply 5 by 3 into 1 by 10. Now, numerator has 2 and 5 which get cancelled with this 10 and we have the number 1 by 3 as our answer. Okay, this is the second option which is the correct option. This is the correct answer. So, I think you would have, you would have understood the importance of this topic. One question came in the queues and one question came in the end semester examination. So, be very careful while studying this topic and solving more problems from this topic. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed the video. You understood the topic. If you have any doubts, you can put in the comment box. Thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned to the channel. We will be solving the remaining questions in the upcoming videos. You can join our Instagram handle and Telegram account in order to get live updates. Thank you.